Okay, we have the green bars, we have the live counters ticking up, so he should now be alive, which of course means welcome back to the Storytime Network. We are here with more Persona 5 Royal, and we have a fucking palace boss to take down. Let's go. With a kick-ass soundtrack to accompany us. Yeah. Life Will Change is a very good song. As is uh, Rivers in the Desert, to be fair. Mmm. Look, Persona 5's soundtrack is one of the best video game soundtracks ever. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I can keep picking out songs. I was also going to mention, um, what was it, Yaldabaoth, um, which is yeah. like boss boss music for the first like two or three um, bosses, if I remember correctly. Or like it might, I can't remember, but it's definitely like, but boss music, and I really like it. Honestly, the only boss music I think is like on par with this one is like, uh, even though it's from like a different um, era and different like console and stuff, might be like the Pokemon uh, third generation boss music, hmm. just because of how iconic it is. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other uh, boss music. Um, There's a lot of good stuff. I know, yeah. like um, a lot of the Mario games have good boss music, mm -hmm. and you got uh, stuff like uh, Do you have a moment? like you got boss music from uh, a lot of the um, a lot of the Bioware games have good boss music. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, check um, what we got on. <laughs> the Mass Effect games are really good mm -hmm. in terms of music. They got some. Um, what's we call it? They got Clint Mansell to compose for the third game. And he's a really good composer. Oh, I mean, uh, in terms of like just general soundtracks that I love, I love all the Dragon Age ones. Oh yeah, Dragon Age games have great soundtracks. Again, Edward doesn't miss with soundtracks. Yeah. But uh, I I remember um seeing a post of. Uh, the other day that reminded me of like what are some really good lines uh, that uh, big bad say that go really hard mm. and uh, one of them I was thinking was uh, from Mass Effect uh, during your introduction to uh, Sovereign mm. uh, if, if I remember the line correctly it's you exist because we allow it you will end because we demand it ooh that is a good line yeah that's a fucking raw line. Yeah, that's a really good line. Yeah. Like, Sovereign's entire monologue, introductory monologue goes fucking hard, but that is like one of the coldest lines you can give to a boss. Yeah. What game will it be this time? No matter what you bring out, we will emerge victorious. You are making a grave mistake if you think you have me cornered. I only guided you here because this place allows me to fight to my heart's content. Sis. When my father died in the line of duty, I hated his killer from the bottom of my heart. You know, seeing the seeing the cards on Sai's hat uh, just reminded me. Literally, I mean, really, not long before uh, I jumped on the call with you, I was thinking of uh, writing something with a similar power system to high cards but you know better mm -hmm. because high cards squandered its fucking potential mm -hmm. you know i'd like to think the character work and the plot stuff would be also be better than high cards but you know i can't guarantee that necessarily low bar it's a low, low bar, bar to be fair god high card is still so disappointing especially considering the both fucking ops are bangers yeah the eds too yeah <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> it's so frustrating because I'm listening. I keep listening to the fucking uh, second OP and remembering the fucking visuals for it, and just gone. like, God, it's good. This is nothing more than self righteousness. So that is a point. Do you remember when the? Um, when that special episode that may or may not focus on VJ is supposed to come out? 
Nope. I don't think they announced it beyond, like, maybe saying the year, and I think it's next year. Right, okay. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Yeah. They did not give much information about it other than the key visual. Oh boy, roulette wheel. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games. We ain't following your damn rules. Oh, you uh -oh. Yeah, no, no date. So, honestly, they could just fucking drop it for all we know. Sounds about right. Oh no, I went onto the high card Wikipedia page, but it was for the actual poker hand. <laughs> That's funny. All right, everyone. Be on alert. May the best player win. There we go. Now, speaking of raw ass lines, one of my favorite lines in all of comic books is from Watchmen. Actually, a few of my favorite lines from comic books are from Watchmen, but one of them is, uh, None of you understand. I'm not locked up in here with you. You're locked up in here with me. Mm. Which is, you know, I know that one's been referenced a lot, but... Yeah. Uh, the only one that I think uh, deserves to get more references is, uh, Do it? When will I do it? I... You misunderstand. I did it 35 minutes ago. Mm. Which is uh, the villain responding to uh, what well, the hero is saying when, it, when he's going to, going to enact his plan. Mm. What the? This, this probably won't end well for us, will it? Eh, you'll be fine. Look, I've, I've gambled on roulette before. Uh not great, though, to be fair, I won a... Uh, so, I went to uh, went to a casino with some work friends on Thursday, because uh, oh. it was one of their birthdays. Um, I did manage to come out um, technically three quid down, though I'm counting as two quid up, because... I put five quid into slots and I just I don't even count that as gambling because slots are so fucking like of course, acts of so fucking here. like One must follow the rules. you're just never gonna win you're never gonna actually be able to win with slots. the house always wins yeah like it's it's so it's like damn near impossible to actually do well with slots um, and it requires you putting in like a lot more money than I'm ever willing to, ever going to be willing to put into fucking slots. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of, I'm just writing that off entirely. So I came out two quid up. Uh, I managed to. What was it? Um, I managed to end one blackjack session um, three pounds up on my initial ten quid. Went back to it. Um, managed to uh, accidentally put a fiver on um, five pound bet on because I usually try and bet in one pound in increments put a fiver mm. on by accident fucking blackjack <laughs> so I got 12 pound 50 for that which took me up to um, I think it was 24 pound 50 I was nice. like hey I'm gonna you know I'm gonna pretty much end here. I just wanna, you know, I just wanna end on a round number. So I'm just gonna chuck 50p on a random number on roulette, see what happens. Um, it fucking won, and I ended up oh, with, I ended up coming away with 42 quid on that. <laughs> but Damn. As, but by that point, I'd already lost uh, 10 pounds to blackjack and roulette, and 20 quid to. Uh, Three three card poker, which was horrible. I played four hands and had to fucking fold on all of them because I got fuck all. Mm -hmm. 
I genuinely mean fuck all. Don't do anything reckless. Uh, let's go. Let's go sigh. Hi, Kinky. You're mine. <laughs> So you've broken the rules. Rot row. In that case, it's time you be penalized. In my defense, you didn't really explain the rules. This is your penalty. Joker, Ow! Right? What? This is the penalty? I really wish I didn't go first now. <laughs> Those who cannot follow rules are not to be tolerated. That is simply how society operates. Maybe heal Joker. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Joker, your health is low. Watch out! Taste my wrath. Oh, be cautious of the penalty. Mm, okay. Uh. Mm. If I don't do any damage, Ready? does it count? I wouldn't chance it. Ah, oh, it's a block. Hey, I didn't actually do anything! Yeah, now you have two guys, you gotta heal. I mean, we know the important. Joker's more important. Sorry, Catchy. I mean, the point is, I can't do any damage, so it's not like I'm, you know, losing out that much. Um... Oh. So, Mill, you remember Tier Moon Empire? Uh, vaguely, yeah. So I just discovered a manga that is basically like Tier Moon Empire, but Yuri. Okay. There's only one chapter uh, that's been translated, though, mm. which is unfortunate. Yeah. I'm gonna just post it in the Discord and see how uh, the folks react to it. I'm sure they'll be uh, happy. Some of them. We should go along with the game for now and try to gain evidence on her methods of cheating. I agree. Well, how will you bet? Oh, you're not even gonna let me pull one on just a number. Okay. Rip. Uh, one through twelve. Have you made your decision? To be fair, when I play roulette, that's usually how I bet because putting money on individual numbers is generally a fool's game. Mhm. Mm hey! Ah, oh, fuck you. That was cheating. Rose's life is in danger. We lost. Have you figured anything out, Joker? I most certainly have. Really? How is she doing it? Let's see, you're right. It did seem like a. That was just a guess, so I'm, there. you know, I'm glad I got it right. How humiliating. Snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. You're in charge of choosing who's gonna be the sniper. Joker, choose someone to send. I'll show off my purpose. As long as I get close, I'll leave it to me. Let's send a catchy. May the best player win. Ah, this will be fine. Displayed on the monitor changed. No way in hell that could go possibly wrong. It's tough. That's not right. Mm. 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 This one. Okay. That's no different from the original penalty. What are we betting? Using this. Thank you. 
I really need to get more singular heals. The sniper is in their designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well, time to make your bet. Well, how will you bet? Hmm. Go risky again. Uh, let's go the 12. Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Nani? What was that about fair and square? You were totally cheating. <laughs> you coward. What are you so quiet for? Say something. Shut up. Shut up. Go have a good old villainous breakdown, am I right? Right, here's where the fight really starts. Cause, oh boy! Picardo, <laughs> did you did you and your sister happen to watch any like I don't know fucking horror movies or anything like that when you were growing up? Oh no, she wants to judge Dread. I mean, I can see this being like a Dread Dread Mad Max type of aesthetic type thing. Yeah. Is my sister's true nature? No. We're finally back to a normal fight. Good luck, Joker. Also, I remembered another line that goes incredibly hard. The roulette panels changed. Uh oh. You can fire your arrows from the Tower of Babel, but you can never strike God. Oh, what's that from? Um, I believe it was X Men Last Stand. Hmm. Ah, yes, Magneto. No, Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Sorry. Ah, oh, okay. Calm down. The opponent is strong. Don't do anything. Sona. Go down. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Akechi's fucked. Rip. Probably do some to fix that. At least get close to fixing it. Fuck you. <laughs> also, I wouldn't say Morgana's that bad. Alright, I can work with that, I think. Strong. That's no. I don't have much in the way of attack. Do I have anything better that's... I got Mothman. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Uh, you know what? I should have I should have seen that coming. To be brutally honest. Right. Okay. It's just wind. Great. We. Uh, I can do that as well. Bunch. Oh, Millie, you'll like this one. Uh. Apparently, uh, during the uh, Spanish Civil War, uh, one Welsh dude named Tom Thomas uh, volunteered, and uh, 
offered a simple boast as he was leaving. If I can shoot rabbits, I can shoot fascists. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty fucking great line. It is a great line. I also really need to get rid of Ame no Uzume. Bit outdated. Very outdated. She literally has a light attack. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah, no, Two she is a... Uh... Yeah, she's, um... Probably need to get rid of Taki well... Minakata as well. I need to do some rebuffing. Honest... Anything below level 35, you probably should drop. Yeah. Kitty. Yeah, we're still on that. Okay. Uh, do I have anything in terms of an item? To be fair, what? There's not much point. I'm probably doing as much damage just doing that. Mm -hmm. Let's do some Heelys. Oh, I remember Heelys back when I was a kid. Yeah. This seems unfair. You're very much targeting, uh... Targeting Morgana here. It's not really doing you much good. Probably eating away at Makoto's SP, but eh, it's fine. Wow, Sai really just fucking hates uh, hates Morgana right now. I wonder why. There is. Uh, I know I've got a Garadine hiss somewhere. There. Eh, neutral. I'll take neutral. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, straight back to Healy's. My thanks. Sorry. Start zooming around her on wheels. Only victory matters. To guarantee it, you have to be willing to do anything. Doesn't light make right? No, no. Not anymore. It's been a while since that was true. No matter what happens here, I need to keep winning. Why? <laughs> Little punks. Okay, she's changing a type. That's fine. Should be fine anyway. You know what's really funny, Mill? What? So how familiar are you with the Louisiana Purchase? Um, that was... Um, America buying, like, a bunch of land off the Frenchies, wasn't it? Yes. The territory of Louisiana, which at the time included a lot of territory. Yeah. Um, basically stretched from Louisiana in the southeast all the way to present-day Montana in the northwest. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyways, so, um, apparently, uh, the U.S. government could not afford the initial amount of uh, money that was requested from the French. Yeah. So uh, they uh, borrowed a lot of money from British banks to pay them off. And the reason the French were selling it in the first place was because Napoleon was trying to fund his war against the British. Yeah. <laughs> so the British inadvertently funded the war against them. Mm. That's why I have to be the Just very funny. The British weren't very intelligent in that time period. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, the, the what? British bank that actually uh, gave the loan to the U.S. Uh, was in business up until 1995. Cause what year exactly was the uh, Louisiana Purchase? 1803. 1803, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, the British very much, um... 
1803. That was around Battle of Trafalgar, wasn't it? Maybe? I believe so. Um... Uh, trying to remember. Um, Very helpful. Good thinking. I think so. I'd... Oh. Well, Makoto is still alive, so that's fine. Thank God Joker doesn't have uh, access to cursed speech. Because the amount of times he says come, poor boy, it could uh, could go badly. Oh my. You were waiting for me to do that. I mean, obviously, you? yeah. He can't get, keep getting away with this. <laughs> okay, now Battle of Trog was 1805. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Persona. Get up. I mean, to be fair, 1803. Napoleon obviously wanted to, um... Go after the British, but would we have been his, you know, um, first, uh, what should we call it, first target at the time? Because obviously he had a lot of, lot of, you know, neighbors around him that was uh, a lot more able to threaten him in that sense. Um, so, if I, so looking at the actual like documentation of Napoleon um, agreeing to the deal, uh, he basically said, "I renounce Louisiana. It is not only New Orleans that I will uh, cede; it is the whole colony without reservation. I re renounce it with the greatest regret. I require a great deal of money for this war, which, uh, uh, and implicitly with Britain." I mean, it's fair. Obviously, you know, at the time, we were the biggest power in the world. Or at least in Europe. It's definitely in Europe. I'm not, I'm not going to necessarily say world, but definitely Europe. Um, I mean, at that point, uh, England was the biggest naval power in the world, I'm pretty sure. Well, that was, that was the point. Um, that was the point of Trafalgar. It basically meant that... Um, us and France were in very much a stalemate because um, in the battles prior, the battles prior and and after on land proved that neither us nor really any other country could handle um, the Grand Armée. Yeah, Le Grand Armée. Yes, um, just big fucking columns and big fuck off artillery. Um, mm -hmm. But the fact was, if, you know, if France wanted to, if Napoleon and France wanted to take out Britain properly, they'd have to come to us to do it, and they couldn't get past mm. our navy. I forget, which, which, uh, Duke was it, or Admiral that, uh, famously died during Trafalgar? Was it Wellington? No, uh, N Nelson. Horatio Nelson. Nelson. Horatio Nelson. That's yeah. right. Wellington was Admiral the... Horatio Nelson. Yeah. Wellington was the one who ended up uh, beating Napoleon. Right. Okay. That's why I got the wires crossed. I knew they both had battle victories against Napoleon. I just didn't know which uh, yeah. one which. Yeah. I mean, honestly... Uh, oh, a sweet victory. Yeah. Honestly, Wellington... His real name was uh, Arthur Wellesley. Um... Also really interesting because he turned up in Spain in 1808, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. 
not Spain, sorry. Well, Spain, Portugal, one of the two. Iberian Peninsula. Um, and actually did manage to um, win a couple of couple of victories. And then he got basically replaced by two old fogies who got absolutely, uh, absolutely fucked. And all three of them basically got called, called back to Britain um, to basically answer for what the fuck happened here um and sir john moore was put in charge and he basically ended up having to uh fight a retreat to the um portuguese coast um against napoleon and his armies and he died in the process i believe um and then in i believe 1809 1810 wellesley landed back in Portugal and then just basically for the most part just moved forward mm. I think I think he moved forward then had to retreat again but by that point um, the British had built base British and Portuguese had built um, basically this huge like line of defensive fortifications so that the and the French just never made it past there uh, once they were built. Mm. Not to mention, you know, the Spanish are there fighting a the fucking guerrilla war, which the French were not able to deal with. That's only a shadow. Why are you so? Oh yes, war against guerrillas. What mm. fearsome opponents! And you know, then uh, Napoleon made the incredibly boneheaded decision to invade Russia during winter. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the first and he won't wasn't the last i mean to be fair the point is is that by that by that stage in in the in the just the wars in general against napoleon napoleon was really losing his touch and he was like mentally i think he was starting to go whether it was i, ca I can't remember exactly what the reasoning was but mentally he was just not he was not as sharp as he was in the in the previous wars where he'd managed to dominate. And so they got to where was it? Waterloo? No, that was uh no. his comeback tour. Yeah, that was that was his comeback tour. Um fuck, where was I'll it? I'll look it up real quick. It was Napoleonic it was, Wars, do, 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 do. It was like I think it was the capital of Russia in was it St. Petersburg? Moscow? No, St. Peter. Well, the the point is, is that Moscow was was only renamed fairly recently because it used to be like Stalingrad, didn't it, or something like that. Stalingrad was uh, during the the um, initial period uh, during Soviet Russia. It was St. Petersburg both before and after that. Okay. Um. Leningrad was also a renamed city. I don't remember what it was before and after. Okay, it was it was Moscow. Yeah. Uh, Napoleon's decisive defeat, though, was uh, at Leipzig hmm. uh, in 1813. Well, the, well, the point was is that uh, Napoleon obviously created this gigantic fucking army, one of the biggest anybody anybody had ever seen, if not the biggest. Marched them into Russia, got to Mos Moscow, and it was burned. It was just completely, it was empty and it was burned. Mm. And Napoleon suddenly had this decision of, do I, do I retreat? Do I stay here? Do I move forward? And he just, he just didn't make a decision. He just stayed there where you know everything everything was burned there were no crops the water had been poisoned you know the russians scorched had, fucking earth the, yeah the Rus russians in retreat had basically just gone full scorched earth and gone look we're gonna we're, we have to give you this land because we can't stand up to you but you're not getting anything from it you are not getting mm -hmm. anything from it and so you know <laughs> the old adage is an army marches on its stomach and it got to the point where Napoleon had to be like look we've got no fucking food we've got to we've got to march somewhere to try and find food and there was just no food um like he tried to 
He tried to go a different different route back to try and find more food, but again, the Russians had beaten him to it, which burned everything. And yeah, mm -hmm. basically, once the Russians caught up again, you know, starved army versus a fairly well-rested one, you know, with the proper, proper, you know, equipment for Russian winter as well. That was, yeah, that was it. And Napoleon had basically had to flee, leaving, like, a large chunk of his army to just get massacred. And... Yeah. Yeah. So, apparently, the Grand Armée popped out at over 600,000 men mm. total. Yeah. 413,000, which were French soldiers. Mm -hmm. And how many did which... they lose? Uh, do, 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 do. Let me look. So the uh, there is a graphic of the um, the troops during the during uh, the march to Moscow and back. Mm. Uh, started with four hundred twenty-two thousand at Kano, and by the time they reached Moscow, they were at one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Be in part because some troops split off, but uh, as they retreated back, they. Uh, Lost troops to attrition, regained some from uh, you know a rejoinder of some of those troops that split off, and still lost more until they reached back to the border with ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand from six hundred thousand. Oh, well, four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand uh, from that still, particular campaign. Still, <laughs> which it's that's a horrific attrition rate. Yeah. Of the total 685,000 that con constituted the overall invasion force, 93,000 survived in total. Yeah. The, the 10,000 is the French troops, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, you know, by that point, um, the British and the Spanish and the Portuguese were steadily making their way through through northern Spain and into the, into the mountains that, sp that split. Um, Spain and France. We'll go grab the treasure. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I remember correctly, um, Napoleon's first defeat before Waterloo was sort of um, almost a wet fart sort of thing compared to the you know the the grand battle that is Waterloo. I don't think it's wrong mm -hmm. to bring light to evils which can't be judged by law. Now, I I find Nap the Napoleonic Wars so interesting. Really, really interesting. You, you really should read Temeraire, because that was literally the Napoleonic Wars, but with dragons. But these aggressive investigations... I've only read the first book, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Personal gain? Please... To think back to the feelings you had when you first wanted to be a prosecutor. Speaking of dragons, did you see uh, Gurm is gonna put out a blog post about everything that went wrong with the uh, TV show for House of the Dragons? Think about your I, I, I didn't see that by uh, know about that now. I imagine it's about going to be about production side fuck ups or uh, not fuck ups, but restrictions that really fuck the production yeah. of the show. Because wasn't it supposed to have 10 episodes and then got shortened to like It was eight? supposed to have 10 episodes and yeah. it was shortened to 8, yes. What is with fucking streaming services and their forcing of 8 episode seasons now? It's ridiculous. I remember how you used to be. How I... Oh yeah, no, like... The way it's paced, the only major battle that we see in House of the Dragon Season 2 is... Rook's Rest, mm. which is at the mid-season. So it wasn't like, even a, every other battle is off screen. So it wasn't even a climactic battle to end the season. No, it like the the battle like the season ends with uh, a bunch of armies on the march and or on the sail and like they're gearing up for the battle of the gullet, which is you know a huge battle, which is probably going to kickstart the next season. Yeah. The investigation will now be able to proceed. The suspicions. Uh, I imagine we're going to get a lot of. Very brutal battles because next season, assuming even if it's only eight episodes, 
will likely cover like some really major ones like um, the gullet, rook, uh, the fish feed, and a few others like that. I don't know if they'll get to the battle above God's Eye, though. By no means. Because that one is going to be insane. Yeah. Uh, that would probably be either the season finale of season three or sometime during season four, depending on how uh, they base it out. Yeah. And they did say they had overarching plans for four seasons of uh, the dance era. Are you all right? I am. Let's go. Huh? Enemy readings. When did they? Right, right. They're gathering outside. Uh oh. For real? The hell's going on? Look at those numbers. This doesn't look good. We defeated the palace ruler and even stole the treasure. Yet the shadows are still restless. It doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? There are more coming? This will be dangerous if we don't do something. Huh? We need to go now. Those guys in black... A team this large would be discovered immediately. We had best split up for our escape. Although, we'll need someone to act as a decoy. I suggest a catchy. No, that's too dangerous. I suggest a catchy. On. Joker might have a different idea. Ah, damn. Oh, that was well timed. Damn your noble heart, Joker. <laughs> Joker? Are you planning on distracting them by yourself? See, si, Senora. Senorita. Let him do it, Queen. He's quiet. Once his mind's made up, <coughs> he's not gonna take no for an answer. No, I take no for an answer. Please try and talk me out of this. No, he is making a noble sacrifice. Oh, we miss you, Joker. We will miss you. <laughs> I mean, it reminds me of fucking um, Firefly, where the crew have come to save um, save Mal, and he's fighting this like giant dude, and they're just like, "No, don't interfere. This is something the captain has to do for himself." No, no, it's not. Oh, and just fucking blast him out of the fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you ain't gonna die. It's you we're talking about here. <laughs> You're like the we main character or something. I'll never mm -hmm. forgive you if you don't make it back. We still haven't fulfilled our deal, remember? Even more are coming. This truly is a painfully reluctant parting. It seems we had best hurry. Oh wow. We'll see you later. Wow. So wow. apparently, um Well no, uh, it's something else I, I just discovered. Mm -hmm. Apparently, um Ramses the Second was the only pharaoh whose name was known to scholars up, up from the pre um pre Alexandrian period, uh before the Rosetta Stone was deciphered. Good for Which him. Is wild. Yeah. I mean, Ramses does have the whole uh, thing of being like one of the longest reigning monarchs in history. So, yeah. Not surprising. Mm. Also, I think he was the first uh, Egyptian pharaoh to like have documented um, diplomatic relations with another country. Mm. Yeah. I was looking at. Um, some poetry, and I uh, came across, uh, you know, the iconic Ozymandias. Stay calm. You can get away now. We'll 
retrieve the briefcase on our end. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Who's that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. But I have to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. I do, I do love this bat. It's very fun. Honestly, the Six Palace is one of my favorites. Yeah. But uh, I just, I love it for it obviously being, you know, you're doing the same thing you did at the very start of the game, but now you know all of these characters who are speaking up. Mm -hmm. I love the whole once more with clarity thing. Yeah. Though I believe this battle is a little different, <laughs> and will be a little mm -hmm. different. Oh. Hi, Arsene. Have you gotten useful? I I intended to. It's powerful. You were scared of ice attack. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, it's probably not gonna chuck a chuck a gun skill at me. Go down. Just spamming it. <laughs> what else was I gonna do? Of course. Oh, oh boy, you really haven't forged much of a bond with that Haru girl or that Futaba girl. Uh, don't, don't, don't focus on them for now. Um, focus on the other ones. Like Ryuji! <laughs> <laughs> you formed a strong bond with Ryuji. If you are oh boy. <laughs> We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. That song's great, honestly. Good. You defeated them with ease. <laughs> oh, a really dirty, dirty thing to say in response to uh, Futaba saying pull out before the backup gets there. I do. <laughs> oh my. Oh, uh, I shouldn't say it because it's going to be in response to Butaba, though. I shouldn't say it. I think you can imagine it. what it would be, though. Oh, please, enlighten me. Come now, Futaba. You know I don't pull out. Joker behind you. Go through that door. <laughs> You know for a fact there are dojins about that. Oh, of course there are! Dude, can you even hear us? Don't worry, I'm taking up everyone's voices. Just go, Joker! Hmm? Wait a sec. I'm getting a weird reading heading your way! Come on, run! <laughs> so, what- So, to, to radically change topics, which parts of fandom do you think are more annoying? The meme, uh, meme wings of a fandom, or the power scalers? It's uh... hmm. a good question. Because on the one hand, the meme lords can be funny. Mm. But on the other hand... The power scares aren't usually that obnoxious, comparatively. I mean, obviously it depends on the fandom. Um, that is true. Because, you know, fucking One Piece, the power scalers are the, just the fucking worst. Oh, they're fucking insufferable. Yeah. 
Whereas it, the JJK fandom, well, um, it's very much the meme lords. JJK, um, Kagurabachi as well. Like I, after actually I, I reading, like after the actually memes for after actually oh, reading those first like two or three chapters of Kagurabachi, I did actually start to get really annoyed with all those memes um, about it. Yeah, no, I, I I like some of the memes. The memes can be fun, but like they just don't stop. And they the brain rot spreads mm. across multiple fandoms. I mean, it depends what the memes are about. Like, um... like if it's like, um, are you uh are you brain rotted because you're a JJK fan, or are you a JJK fan because you're brain rotted? Stuff like that. That's fine. That's harmless. Yeah. But if it's like omnipresent memeing, it's just like, come on, pick a new bit. Oh, hey, it's been again. Does this actually make sense now that we're actually at this point in the story? I'll end this right now. Kind of. <laughs> Wait, how did Kasumi know to even follow us? No clue. And where to follow us to? Actually, no. Um, because we did have, um, we had lunch with her, didn't we? And she asked uh, if we could go somewhere with her. And she wanted to do mm. it, like, today. My weak self relied on you so much. That ends and we today. we had to had to like turn her down, saying that oh yeah we're, we're doing Phantom Thieves stuff. So yeah okay, I th I, there's there's a logic there. Mm -hmm. So I forget, um, how much familiarity do you have with Fate? Uh, um, not like a huge amount, I think I know like the sort of, do I even know the base premise? I'm not even sure if I know that. I mean the basic premise is, um, a bunch of historical and mythical figures get summoned by uh, ma modern day mages in order to, uh, Fight a war over the Holy Grail. Right. That's uh, seven of each, normally. Yeah. Some of the spinouts get weird with the numbers. Yeah, I don't think I knew about the Holy Grail thing. Yeah. Though it makes Anyways, sense. there's. Yeah. Anyways, there's the setting thing called Reality Marvels, which are basically, um. The story for uh, domain expansions, I'm pretty sure. Right now! I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still so, um, to do whatchamacallit. Right? Unlimited Blade Works is one such thing. Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the Phantom Thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! Alright, let's do it! Yeah, the thing with Fate is that, unlike JJK, it is not nearly, like, the absolute meme hive of, uh, Weebdom at the moment. Which, you know, it's just very funny to me. I mean, JJK's got so many memes just because of how popular it is. Oh, absolutely. Whereas Fate is somewhat more niche. It is a bit more niche. It does have some popular entries, but yeah. Like, I feel like every um, 
anime that breaks out the way JJK did is going to have a bunch of memes around it. But few ever break out to quite the same degree. Leroy Jacob! Enemies here? What's wrong? He's reading. It can't be! Uh -oh. Yeah, this seems bad. Joker, can you handle this? Joker, yeah, probably not. Capture him! Let's go! Go, go, go! Police brutality, kids! So obviously this ends up with us captured in the real world. Does this mean this bit is in the real world? Didn't expect I think so? Kid. Then why are we in our we Phantom Thief outfit? For this. I don't know. Oh, we're sold out. <clears throat> Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. <clears throat> And we're back in our normal uh, yeah. suit clothes. You know what? This it might just be one of those things that don't think that you're just not supposed to think too much about. Probably, but I can't help but think about it. I've got that kind of brain. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up. Ow. Come on. Cooperate. What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? I'm trying. So I'm trying to think. Was Akechi the one that uh, sent us into Size Palace in the first place? I don't know if he's the one who sent us, but he's the one who pointed us in her direction. Well, no, I mean, did we use uh, the app on his phone? I don't remember. Because I think we did, because that was how... Because that was how Futaba got a hold of it, him bringing it out and her grabbing it. Mm. So it's possible if he was the one to keep, you know using the nav app he may have been able to you know cancel it at a certain point um maybe don't say shit without a lawyer hear my question nope you know i heard there's a great lawyer named uh mr higuruma justice blackmail he, he might be able to help he's a great defense attorney i hear I've heard of this other and guy. Too, um, yeah, yeah Mister Wright, right? Yeah, a little, little weird, a little bit of a weird and reputation. Crimes were led by a punk like yeah. This. Well, he's uh, straight in from he's Japan, Fornia. So. Huh? We all know how weird those laws are. You yeah. Know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I see. I need your hand to sign this, but... I don't care if you end up losing a leg. 
Needless to say, this is incredibly illegal. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna sue the fuck out of these pricks. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One piece? The one piece is real! <laughs> I mean, of course I don't expect to walk out of here, walk out of here in one piece. Why would I be in one piece? Oda's not gonna write me in. Me and my struggles in. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Funnily enough, I'm gonna prosecute, you fucking idiot. Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You prosecute sign Nijima? There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Eat shit. you to stand by I'm responsible for this case yet I'm not even being allowed in interrogation suspicious isn't it you yeah, are very sus because I knew you'd bring it up I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself this is my case <sighs> good luck to you then I won't be expecting much though what a douche yeah uh, prosecutor I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are uh -huh. unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. So how long do you think uh, Cy and Joker actually talked? Well done, Couple hours, probably. Star, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are going to wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. If you want to win this unreasonable game, if you wish to take back your stolen future, recall the bonds you formed with your allies and grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> you don't need to laugh, Igor. <laughs> it's not that unlikely. So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the hero of justice. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. Are you kidding? After all I've been through, no cold in the fucking system would, uh, would convict me. I'm gonna get a big payout from this. <laughs> I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal. Legitimately, in like a less corrupt jurisdiction, that level of brutality would get a case thrown out instantly. Yeah. There's no point in being obstinate now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. Yes, corrupted the order of a country that's definitely not corrupt already. Or the death penalty. Unless the death penalty? <laughs> Joker's a minor. You can't give him the death penalty. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. Joker ain't no snitch. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. Who? One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, On Takamaki. Never heard of her. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. Weird name. 
the daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. Oh, Sojiro's yeah. daughter. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. Huh? I think I remember her. Frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Wouldn't you know better than me? Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? <laughs> Play dumb! Joke right now, snitch. So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. Were there not others outside of your direction? You know, it's a funny story. Or lent their aid? <laughs> Let me tell it to you again. <laughs> not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? I see. So you won't speak a word I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing here. I think I am. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Not really. I've got quite the concussion. Let's discuss one other person. Goro Akechi. Oh, him! Yeah, no, he's been helping me out so much. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. Might he be a part of your team too? Now that's just impossible. So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. I don't Wait, know shit. Wrong series. <laughs> Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. I'm acting like I'm a fucking idiot. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? Goes against justice, I imagine. Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. You're not the one to decide such things. Justice? Then tell me, what is this justice you speak of? Saving others? What an awfully simple response. Sometimes the right response is a simple one. Yeah. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? I know. Stand proud, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have no evidence on me. <laughs> Sam proud, Joker. You're strong. <laughs> You're right. We have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. And I gave you the truth. I'm just not giving you any names. The truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. After all this, you're still? Yes. Are you listening? Not really. The concussion no. is really kicking in. Oh boy. The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. Realized it too then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? I love pancakes. Yeah. Hey. Can you hear me? It seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Your time is up? Is it my time now? You can't see me. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. 
It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Not really. Oh boy. Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? That's true. Who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? You know, I think it was Morgana. My suspicions were true in the end. Still, to think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. You do it. <laughs> That'd be impossible. A cat giving someone a smartphone is completely unnatural. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? <gasps> yes, very well. Go on. If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. Yeah, it makes sense that Futaba would put on, like, extra protections to our phones. What's so important yep. about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Makoto and the others should have told you. I'm talking about the true culprit here. You know, the traitor. Hey! What are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? The traitor? Stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? I don't recognize that voice. Oh, a complete stranger's voice. Yeah. And with that realm, my task will be simple. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? Not a teammate? <gasps> My god. That is actually a pretty clever way of, do of hinting at it without saying the name. Mm -hmm. You're referring to him, aren't you? Oh yes, that man. <sighs> what are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. Yeah, of course it will. Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? To the ultimate secret of judgment. I can now judge people. Just judge, judge people with the ultimate power. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I can now make Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I'll be going now. What good will this do, though? Gas! A I n I never would have thought that the traitor is a catchy. Who could have seen that coming? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? Sus. <gasps> they assigned you command? Incredibly sus. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. Yeah, sure. A little you sketchy or catchy. Yeah. This far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, Sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? My God. You're referring to him, aren't you? My God. Was there a problem? Bees. Akechi-kun. Does this phone look familiar to you? Hmm? Excuse me? <sighs> what is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. Foolish woman. Getting that light face going on there. Yes. Light Yagami, who is also a punk ass bitch. May I ask that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Bullshit. Huh. What are you? Well, Jerry's Feel dead. For all of this. Thanks. Rip Jerry. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan. And now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. You, should I hit it? Should I hit the button? Go for it. Oh my. <laughs> Have you finally pieced it all together? Run, hell, you sus ass motherfucker. <laughs> closed. This is how your justice ends. Well, this was fun. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been our playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Um, obviously not ending in the ideal way, but, you know, this, this is how the game goes. Um, yeah. <laughs> obviously, we got some last little bits to go through. You know, it's funny... I always find it weird when they try to set up someone's death as a suicide when they uh, shoot like in the back of their head or like in their forehead. Yeah. Like, no one would use a gun to kill themselves that way. Hmm. But they would aim it at the temple or under their chin normally. It'd be incredibly hard to get, aim the barrel flat at your own forehead. Exactly. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be a 
this person is stupid type thing or this uh the creation uh the creators are uh not thinking of this realistically type thing i think it's just that everything is so corrupt that you know they've they've got the police in the in the in their back pockets basically um mm. Uh, you know, nobody's really going to question... Nobody who's willing to actually question it will ever see the body. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so he committed suicide via two bullets to the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. You know, it's not inaccurate. Keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. Oh no, what a shame, oh no. Oh no, this is so sad. No. Oh. If only we could have stopped oh. this. Rest in piss, Bozo. Mm hmm. And there was much rejoicing. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> that was perfectly that also goes for catchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was all that about showing him this phone? The Phantom Thief Alibaba? Who is this? I am Alibaba, a member of the Phantom Thieves. I inquire as to your justice, Sai Nijima. How do they know I have this? Goro Akechi is evil. He didn't come to interrogate the captured Phantom Thief. He came to kill him. could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. And technically, Akechi didn't do that. He murdered him before the act was committed. Yes. Well, he's suffering from a nasty case of uh, bullet to the skull right now, so yeah, he does uh, does need some help. But wait, wasn't he dead? Yes, yes, very curious. Um, nothing. 
Anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. <gasps> but that means Jerry's still alive! Of course it's yes. true. <laughs> Is something the matter? It's a catchy gun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't He's going to be the linchpin to our uh, to our entire plan now. <laughs> I've been asked to handle things instead. You? But you know, if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Yes, ma'am. Fucking skedaddle, dude. And don't yeah. say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. Just retire to a remote Japanese island or some shit with your family. <laughs> Start a fishing job or some shit. Yeah. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they have detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect... And John, can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So he got caught. That group sure was something. Hi, Bryce Pappenbrook. Yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idol thing? You know that cool? What a surprise! To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. And considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Huh? Goodness, look at you now. It's been a while, Ryuji. Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh, your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seem stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Oh yeah, um, the voice actors being the same reminded me. Um, they dubbed the uh, the femme law scene. Oh, that's funny. That's fun. It was very much, uh, very much Matt, Matt Mercer just pitching his voice up. <laughs> turned it in that's quite the surprise i thought i lost it this whole time <laughs> i'm sorry well your grades are excellent and your student council president i'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply that one phantom thief should have followed your example you hear it seems he was caught some high schooler i wonder why he turned to a life of crime Yes, yes, curious. We also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. Uh -huh. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. <laughs> Crush his nuts, Haro. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death. Although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. <laughs> 
Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. It can't be. Yes, our master plan of having Joker die has finally come to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> they would it never expect that. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? Mortality you... is a bitch. It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Indeed. Your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. Yeah, this is definitely all planned. Yeah. <laughs> How might you be capable of executing such a feat? I believe I was the one getting executed, actually. Mm -hmm. then, let yeah. us rouse the memories which are missing. it too then it was our conversation about pancakes right there's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me right it was your social studies trip we met him in the hallway of that TV station I do legitimately still think this is good foreshadowing Like, it is no just subtle enough that unless you're actually looking out for it, you probably won't notice it. This whole deal feels sketchy. Yeah, that was my plan too. Okay, let's get everyone on the same page right away. There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. You can do you it, can do it. I agree. You can win, you feel great. You can do this. Hmm. I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. Yeah, if I'm honest, I've been uh, I've been rewatching the um, DBZA commentaries. <laughs> nice. Um, I was actually um, watching slash listening to the some of the movie ones while I was driving. Uh huh. Um, and I finished. I actually finished the. Um, or was it the fucking Helsing Marathon stream today while I was driving as well? Nice. Helsing is a lot of fun. It is. Don't worry. I'll tell you the details later. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> That's ah, gonna be fine, right? It can only go well. Mm -hmm. I see. So we're going to use this place. It'll be a gamble. 
I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. Well, I might even say it's a fever. It seems you finally remember. Was Makoto all they needed to get access to that room? I think so. Why, this super secret underground interrogation room? This game is not over yet. She almost certainly could have bullshitted her way in. Probably, yeah. Also, it's not, but I gave the whole end the game is ending spiel. Oh no. <laughs> Legitimately, this is one of the best plot twists in a video game. I do, as I said, I think, I think the foreshadowing on it was good. Uh, really good. Mm -hmm. Really well done. Pretty solid, but not, but also, like, like the amount that you can pick up on if you're paying attention. Yeah. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Didn't even double tap. Yeah. Oh no, Jerry turned to smoke. This is, this is just... <laughs> Excellent reveal. Yeah. It's just the way he's fucking sitting. The legs are crossed. The fingers are steepled. He gives the smile, and it's just like, yeah, Joker's absolute. Joker and the others have absolutely played fucking Akechi here. Mm hmm. Reach our destination. You sound like one of those nice sat nav ladies. <laughs> Are you listening? Trust me. Anyway, <laughs> we need to talk about how to get out of this situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. Ah, oh, who could have seen that coming? It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a ploy to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill him. Le gasp. If we go into Sis's palace as he suggests, We'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter... Ah, uh, okay. So okay, that's, 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 that's what happened. Okay, so brought the... So the police force outside was real. And then, mm -hmm. you know, between, you know, fucking arresting Joker and, you know, sometime after arresting Joker, they just left the palace thanks to Akechi. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So, this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura. Then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time! The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Come on, 
Gotta take that bastard to catch you dead. Now, now, Ryuji, that's not very nice. Apologize to homicidal maniacs. Mm. No, Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. Wow, you don't need to be so insulting about it. I mean, yes, Akechi is a tool, but still. Yeah. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect inside of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. Though once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it! So we don't got a choice but to go with that bastard's suggestion. But if we go into the palace like we're told, he'll get arrested and then Akechi will kill him! Palace. The palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding... Oh uh, yeah, so you saw the whole thing about the muskrat uh, getting Twitter banned from Brazil. Oh yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> by being a dipshit. Well yeah, by, you know, refusing to deal with disinformation because the dif disinformation propagated is uh, more often than not fucking right-wing. Um, yep. Musk is right-wing. So fucking stupid. A He's a fucking moron. He's an absolute dipshit moron. That's what happens when you have, like, nothing but sycophants sucking up to you 24 7. Yeah. For, like, get years on end. And get the mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity. Really? Yeah. The moment that there's somebody who, you know, doesn't suck up to him, he feels attacked and, uh,. Immediately goes on the defensive, and you know, again, more often than not, those people tend to uh, people who you know feel attacked and become defensive. Um, you tend know, not to be rational. Tend not to be rational, and they tend tend towards the right wing. If I'm honest. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me. Also, it's classic sign of narcissism. Yeah. Guy. Why not let him? That is inside of a palace yes we could have him kill the cognitive version all the while believing he killed the real one <laughs> yeah, that's it. i just love how all the pieces are there for this it to work yeah option. well beforehand and it feels completely organic yeah i have a plan for how we can carry this operation out That's just good writing. Yeah. Since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. I mean, it's not like we said much to begin with, you prick. Yeah, no, the Phantom Thieves are, uh, you know, uh, pretty, uh, investigation until the case is not vocal. Yeah. I think the Have there been any public announcements from the Phantom Thieves besides their calling cards? Uh. Maybe the. the when Futaba took down, um. Borchmacolet? Um, oh yeah, the the hacker group. Yeah, I think that's it though. That is pretty much it. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Where are they? Stairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. Where's Rachel? You're her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Futabachan. I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. You know what that is? Eh, it's ancient history now. <laughs> I mean, it's been like three months, but okay. <laughs> Man, that goddamn detective. Look who's here. 
<laughs> a catchy coon. Wait, was 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 that not who you wanted me to get? <laughs> Hey, you big bastard. I love how they're all so affectionate with Joker. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, you know, they do legitimately feel like a friend group. Mm hmm Like, I, I know it's like, they are a team, first and foremost, but they are still friends. No, absolutely. You're not floating. Truly is a relief to see your face. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Well, yeah, that's sort of the point. Still, how'd you pull this off? Magic. What's a fantastical bullshit? Yeah, uh, we're, we're just gonna go with magic. You probably best to go with that. Isn't this guy mm -hmm. considered dead? Yeah, it's gonna be gonna suck real bad when I have to reveal that I'm not. Yeah, there's gonna be some paperwork to deal with there. Or I could stay legally dead and not have to pay taxes. You weren't told anything? I can only go well. <laughs> Look, if 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 you photoable can Yoshi that way through life, so can Joker. I heard my sister brought him here though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Better who now? Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. Long story short, we tricked Joker's not boyfriend into killing his body, uh, Joker's fake body. I think we're still going out. He didn't break up with me before he shot me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Joker. We're trying to explain things, not get you another date. Look, that's not the, you know, that's not the shot that I would have liked from him, but, you know, we can work with that. Mm-hmm. Maybe next time he'll blow a different kind of load all over my face. I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. Are you not going to do the thing? What thing? <laughs> Earth 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 sudden but inevitable betrayal. No, I wasn't. Or was even... it a different thing? I. The oh my! Oh <laughs> uh, yes. Oh my. Look, I can't see his attraction. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I said blow a different kind of load all over my face. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my bad. <laughs> you knew I thought we'd crazy. instantly jump to it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't always have the soundboard keys immediately available to me. Like, yeah. I sometimes have to pull them up because the soundboard blocks the screen, mm. part of the screen. Akechi himself gave us the chance. Akechi done goofed. Yeah. Goofed real bad. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? I'm gonna be honest, I still kind of don't believe it. True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. 
In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, wait, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He understood the cat. Are you mm -hmm. sure the drugs are out of his system? <laughs> no. But he speaks for Donna's voice. You mean a cat? <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't explain <laughs> this to you, Sojuro. <laughs> yes, Morgana can talk. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a loss here. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm okay not knowing the details. You, you, you guys just do your thing. I'm, I'm just gonna go home and drink a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that supposed it's to like be that one uh, meme picture of just someone like having an existential crisis at their desk? Oh, you know the one, right? That's yeah. Is it the? Yeah, we're uh, not... Is it the? Um, what a week! But Captain, it's it's only Wednesday. No, 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 no. The, the one where it's just like the the scri not the scribble like a. Just like those outline figures, uh, it's just like he just uh, has a conversation, or goes home, and then just is sitting down and having an existential crisis. Oh uh, yeah, 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 that one, yeah. Does that mean he said something just now as well? Yeah, he said a slur. We can't. We try to ignore it. <laughs> he really hates dogs, especially Chihuahuas. Don't ask. If you if you can think of a slur for a Mexican, Morgana's used it. <laughs> but you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed It's kind of impressive here. that both Ryuji and On picked up on it. Yeah. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Also, way to drop a hint way early. That's awesome. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's good foreshadowing. Indeed. That meant a catch you'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. He did approach us when we found ourselves in the worst trouble yet. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! Was it, though? Was it really? Mm -hmm. After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. I also had to uh, uh, listen in on a lot of dirty phone calls between him and Joker. You really need to do something about that, by the way. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yeah, we don't really have defect technology during that year. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. 
So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well, luckily, Rip. Jerry's living it up on a deserted island by now. There's anything well, about deserted island. I was like, you deserve it. Jerry likes his solace. Uh, likes being alone. Mm hmm. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. And that's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That is true. Mm -hmm. Ah, memories. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah, it's good we have her heading up our operations. <laughs> oh boy, were we bumbling before she joined. Makoto is mm -hmm. so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. 
After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. This is all really fucking clever. It is. It's all very complex as well. I'm glad they actually take the time to lay this all out. Yeah. Though, like, I could have done with a, you know, a bit of a break between stuff. I mean, we did have that save point earlier. I know. Yeah, we've hit the two hour mark and I don't know how and long we've got left of this. The police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. I mean it was, and then I sort of fell unconscious because of the concussion and drugs and beatings and all that. Uh, that was less mm -hmm. fun. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Oh, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. Now yeah, we should still have security camera footage. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. Yeah, sort of the point. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. It is, it was, you know, a very... It was a gamble. It was definitely a get the biggest gamble point, I would say, yeah. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Luckily, Joker has Riz out the wazoo. Still, I'm Indeed. surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? <laughs> Don't remember. Drugs. Understandable. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. 
Atlas, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think anybody was ever getting close enough to that body to see whether the gunshot was in the temple or the forehead. Mm-hmm. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Yeah, it kinda sucks. Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Mijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though... I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. Yeah, it was pretty rough. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. I almost became one of your assailants as well. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe. But considering what we were up against. Yeah, can we can we wrap this up, please? We've been going for so long. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. So is mine, Sojiro. So is mine. We've been going at this for almost two and a half hours now. Not, not almost oh, just two and a half two. hours. Yeah, just over two. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll close shop <clears> early. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Don't worry, Sojiro. I'll compensate you. I've got like 2.8 million yen. <laughs> Let us accept his offer. What a great man. Oh god! More cutscenes! That sounds familiar. It's me, Akechi. Enter. And don't call me Akechi. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? It states here that he had a will, and his next of kin was you. 
Explain. Okay, he's like really good and bad. Like, insanely good. No, nothing. Stop in twirling your hair, damn it. <laughs> More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. Mm, nah. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> a snap election for the House of Representatives. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Wow, holding that election real close to Christmas, eh? Yes. Elections, huh? eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in him yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? You know, the funny thing is, some jackasses in the, the U.S. think that the voting rate should, yeah, the should be raised together. above 18. And it's like, no, fuck you. To be brutally honest, it should be lowered to 16. I don't disagree. Honestly, it should at the very least be the same age as the minimum age of military enlistment, which I believe is 17. Hmm. Like, you should be old enough to uh, vote if you're old enough to, you know, join the military. As much as I don't like people drinking, I would also say you should be able to fucking drink if you can join the military. Mm, yes. I agree. Shido, -san. Shido. It feels like I heard that somewhere. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh who? I believe he's a politician. Remember, Ryuji? You said his speech was too loud. For real? It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Shido is such a piece of shit. Is some kind of evidence? He really is, yeah. Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. Also, this is all real interesting, but could we wrap it up? Maybe discuss it another day, please. He's maintained we are definitely going to hit the two and a half hour mark. Gained tremendous popularity. I don't think that, so, but we'll definitely. I think prime minister if he wins this. We're definitely one hundred percent hitting uh, two and a quarter hours. We might hit two hours twenty. We're unlucky. Mm. No. Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this, just based on the connections I had from my previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. Don't you just love how every time you learn more about Shido, he just becomes a worse person? Yeah. Or doesn't become a worse person, but you know what I mean. Mm. You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Shocked. Shocked, I say. Into the mental shutdown cases. 
It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I, would I love that she calls him Boss as well. Connected. Yes. The mental shutdown. She's giving him no less than the respect he can do. Actions. Yeah. Way back when. Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like Way always. ahead of ya. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for prime minister. Name found. You didn't need to add the second part. <laughs> Got a hit. Well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? Do you think any of the Phantom Thieves entered in their own name to see if they had a palace? I do think having a persona is mutually exclusive with having a palace. Hmm. We still do you think any of them tried it still? What kind Maybe. of things go through oh, Ryuji's head? I always think <clears throat> dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Daya building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Hell yeah! Nobody against it? Of course! He will be a worthy opponent. I mean, the way that was worded... The battle will be legendary. <laughs> The way that was worded, nobody against this, and Al just goes, of course! <laughs> like, maybe it was worded differently in the Japanese, but yeah. Probably. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we oh, please, talking? like, they're actually going to we look. We the diet building after school. That reminds me. What are you going to do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Yay, I get a month off. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. Yeah, using child soldiers is pretty fucked up, not gonna yeah. lie. too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? I'm gonna be honest. We're all a bit... I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> we're either all honor students or don't care about education, so we have a lot of time on our hands. <laughs> Look, for all our forays and dipshittery, the Phantom Thieves still have intelligence. Yeah. Some have more brain cell access than others, but... Mm. 
or rather, should I say, more frequent brain cell access. And to be fair, you don't necessarily need uh, need intelligence to have a flair for the dramatic. True. What frightening teenagers! But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, <laughs> but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no <coughs> end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. Oh, for God's sake! This far. <laughs> Just end it! It's end the scenes, there. please! <laughs> Back then, you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. God damn backstory exposition. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse? Yeah, that's really funny, Mel. Mm -hmm. And when someone like that said he'd support uh, three of uh, the assistants on um, Tatsuke, uh, Tatsuki Fujimoto's uh, Chainsaw Man were um, Yuki Kaku, the yeah. author of Hell's Paradise, Yuki Nobu uh, Tatsu. Who does uh, Down to Down and Tatsuya Endo, who does Spy Family. Yeah, I saw, yeah. And all of them are older than Fujimoto. Yeah. I think I saw a. Um, uh, or a portion of an, of an interview about that with um, the Down to Down author. I believe that your yeah. ideals need I, I also saw one. I can post the link I found hmm. to the Discord. My faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you. Well, that's on the anime channel or the manga channel. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered. Probably manga. Yeah. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all. We had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? Rick Bozo. To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. <laughs> Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals, which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turned psychotic and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic ace detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished. And I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began. At this rate, I'm only going to have a time for like one or two episodes of anime tonight. Or you have to go to sleep. No exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. I might try and go to sleep early so I can wake up early as well. When the Not my big idea. I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. 
Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> All according to cake. The time yeah. Cake means cake cocker. Cake cocker means plan. Just a little more, and I will take the seat of prime minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. You may be right, Jack. We may hit two and a half hours of this, right? I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses. I didn't think they'd keep this going for so long. It really should have stopped at the first uh, chance you had. Country that can compete with the world. Oh well, hindsight's twenty twenty. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me, and for that, uh -huh. some sure. keep telling yourself that, dude. Avoided. That is my duty as the chosen one. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become prime minister. I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. Uh huh. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age... You wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, uh, how do I put this? Leave, Sojiro. I'm sorry, but you gotta leave. Finally, okay. And we are at two hours and 27 minutes. Yeah. I mean, you say I could have just saved, you know, uh, or could have just stopped. Ago. Yeah, it was best part of an hour ago. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to end the stream too early. It probably won't be that long, will it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway. That is everything for today, and that will probably be the last persona for um, about a month. Quite a while. Because um, I am going to be taking... I personally am going to be taking a break from streaming. You'll still have the uh, the lovely Jack and Fuzzy uh, entertaining you uh, on our usual days. And to be fair, I'll... Uh, I'll still be joining in when we do D&D streams, obviously, on uh, Sundays, but um, I'm not going to do any Our schedule will be quite irregular for a little while before uh, all, uh, Mill is busy and uh, taking his break, and uh, I am busy getting settled into my new situation next month. But yeah, uh, Fuzzy should definitely be doing some streams in the meantime, though. Um... Yes. Uh, otherwise, please do give us a follow here on Twitch and all that YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment down below, bell icon, etc. And hopefully, we shall see you tomorrow to uh, have our mid-season check-in for Summer 2024 anime. Good night. Later.